Are you looking for the best laptops? In this video, we will look at some of the four best laptops on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Apple 2022 MacBook Air Laptop with M2 Chip As a Windows user, I find myself reluctant to name an Apple MacBook the best overall laptop. But I can't deny that Apple's transition to its own silicon has made its machines better. The latest MacBook Air M2 is a worthy sequel to the M1 that came out in 2020, bringing a fresh design and a performance boost that all users will appreciate. That's not to say the M1 was a sluggish machine, quite the contrary. We found it to be impressively fast, and the M2 only builds on top of that excellent performance. It's probably overkill for a MacBook Air, but that means it will serve most people well for both work and play. Plus, its impressive 16.5-hour long battery life should be enough for anyone to get a day's worth of work and then some. As for its design, we like that Apple took a more uniformly thin approach here and retired the wedge shape of the previous model. The MacBook Air M2 also has a lovely 13.6-inch liquid retina display, interrupted only by the top notch which holds its 1080p webcam. Its quad speaker setup is an improvement as well, and all of these small hardware changes add up to a machine that looks and feels more different than you may expect from its predecessor. The 13-inch Air is certainly the way to go for anyone that prizes portability above all else. However, if slightly more screen real estate is tempting to you, don't sleep on the 15-inch MacBook Air M2. The new laptop does everything that 13-inch model does well, while giving you a larger screen to work with in a still svelte package. It doesn't sidestep the very Apple issue of having a little less RAM and storage than we'd prefer in its base model, 8GB, 256GB SSD, but that doesn't hold it back. It's one of the best MacBooks we've used recently and it gives fans of the Air lineup a new configuration to consider. Number 2. Dell XPS 13 Plus our top pick for the best Windows laptop has long been Dell's well-rounded XPS 13 series and it remains the best laptop for anyone that doesn't want a Mac. Yes, the new XPS 13 Plus lacks a headphone jack, and we haven't got one in to test yet. But the XPS 13 is a well-rounded laptop and still one of the best-looking PCs out there. Like its predecessors, the Dell XPS 13 Plus offers a lovely OLED display with impressively thin bezels and packs a roomy, comfortable keyboard. It also features a new minimalist design that looks more modern. I'm not sure about the row of capacitive keys at the top in lieu of traditional function keys, but I'm confident that the laptop's 12th gen Intel Core processors will provide a healthy performance boost from the last model. If you're not sure about the changes Dell has made to the XPS 13, or if you definitely need a headphone jack, the older generations are still solid options. There's also the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro series, which feature beautiful OLED screens and sharper webcams in thin and light frames. I also like Microsoft's Surface laptops, and the most recent edition offers great performance, versatility and good battery life, albeit in an outdated design. Number 3. Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5i. Our favorite Chromebook is Lenovo's Flex 5 Chromebook, which Engadget's resident Chrome OS aficionado Nathan Ingram described as a tremendous value. This laptop nails the basics, with a 13-inch Full HD touchscreen, a great keyboard and a 10th-generation Intel Core i3 processor. Its 4GB of RAM and 64GB SSD may sound meager, but in our testing the Flex 5 held up in spite of this constraint. It's also nice to see one USB A and two USB C ports, eight hours of battery life, and a 360 degree hinge that makes it easy to use the Flex 5 as a tablet. That's a bonus, especially now that Chrome OS supports Android apps. Though the Flex 5 is almost two years old by now, this Lenovo Chromebook is a solid deal at around $400. In fact, you can sometimes find it on sale for as little as $300 making it a great option for someone looking for a basic browser-based machine on a tight budget. Number 4. Microsoft Surface Pro 9. For those who need their laptops to occasionally double as tablets, the Surface Pro series is our pick for the best two-in-one laptop. Compared to notebooks with rotating hinges, tablets with kickstands are often much slimmer and lighter. The Surface Pro 9 is Microsoft's latest two-in-one laptop model and if you've had your eye on a Surface for a while, just know to get the Intel version of this machine rather than the ARM model. 
In our testing, we found that the 5G ARM version of the Pro 9 was much slower than a flagship convertible should be and that's mostly due to the fact that lots of the Windows apps readily available on Intel's x86 hardware have to be emulated to work on Microsoft's custom ARM sussy, considering you'll pay at least $1000 for any Surface Pro 9 model, you might as well get a configuration that has as few limitations as possible. While we have our gripes about the Pro 9's overall ergonomics, it's undoubtedly one of the thinnest and lightest laptop alternatives you can get. It's attractive and has a gorgeous 13-inch display, and we still consider Microsoft's type cover to be one of the best you can get, period. They will cost you extra, though, so be prepared to shell out another $100 to $180 for one. Microsoft Slim Pen 2 is another highlight, and it will be a must-buy stylus for anyone that loves to draw or prefers to take handwritten notes. Overall, if you want a machine that can switch seamlessly from being a laptop to being a tablet, the Intel Surface Pro 9 is one of your best bets. Of course, if you're married to the Apple ecosystem, you should consider an iPad Pro, 